Hello everyone and welcome back to Hikarashi. We just got dropped off by Oishi-san. Felt like I was watching a boat. Only a throw in the life saver that shook you past the water. This veered into this and that was the first time I thought Oishi-san was being unfair. Telling me I was going to be in the next winter and then just saying to contact him if something happened. This wasn't a criminal investigation. He was fishing. And I was just bait the bait dangling off the line. Would the fish be the perpetrator? Or was this just Oriyashima's on us curse? Either way, the bait would, n would be swallowed whole. Damn it, I don't want to die. Sometime I could not but stare at the puddle of water left behind by the EC of the car. I wonder how much time has passed since I put down. Getting dark outside. My body was soaked in sweat. It would probably be a good idea to change my sheets. At the moment, the phone downstairs rang. It was probably Mom. Mom was quite the worry wart. Maybe she had called many times, but I just didn't notice it. Hello, this is my battle rest. Oh, he's alive! Hello! This is me on. How you doing? Hmm. Is this on the hmm. Is this one of Keiichi's friends? Keiichi is resting right now, but shall I put him on? Huh? Is this his dad? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Idiot! You fell for it. Huh? Keichan <laughs> After exchange we both had a good laugh together. I said that was suspicious of her, even when we were laughing. Was everyone it really involved in these incidents? The fact that I couldn't say no saddened me. I'm relieved that you seem well. Raina was wor really worried about you, you know? Soko was happy and said you want you got what you deserved. Rikishan said how for unfortunate he's sick. Hey, looks like everyone was making a big deal out of it. Well, so, you know, Keichan, it... Is now a bad time to come pay you a visit? A visit? No, it's okay. It's not like I'm dying. My grandma made a ton of mochi, you see. I was told to share them, so I'll bring you some. <laughs> You'll catch my cold. Not to worry, both Rena and I are too stupid to catch a cold. See ya! Be there in a bit. She hung up cheerfully. Rena's coming too. That's what it sounded like. I was so concerned about Rena meeting Rena. But I guess if she was with me on. I heard the doorbell ring ten minutes later. How are you feeling? Did you... Did you, you take your medicine and rest? I just did that. I did just that. Thank goodness she looked well. I was worried. Sorry, I'll be fine by tomorrow. Leon showed a complete lack of concern for someone who was recovering, and Reina looked like she was wor worried about me from the bottom of her heart. Didn't look like there was anything behind those expressions. I thought we might hang out for a bit, but you, you did. It's not like you're not quite in condition for it. Hmm, you don't say. A bit sullen. Then here, Kichikun. These are the mochi. Mi-chan's grandma made. With the package wrapped in the newspaper. There might have been about five in here. That's quite hefty. <laughs> Thanks, so my regards to your grandmother, Mion. Yep. Uh, there's one that I made there as well. Wonder if Kika can get which one. This is Kichan's homework since he missed club meeting today. There are letters on each mochi. So I'll ask you tomorrow. Were you checking to see if I was feeling better or did you just come here for club activities? Yep, looking fine. Guess you'll be able to be be there tomorrow. Man, what are you gonna do if my fever comes back? 
because of your shenanigans. Michon, we shouldn't be making such a racket. Let's go. The other people, the other people here will get angry. Both of them thought my parents were home. It was because the entrance trail was a mess. You're right, let's get going. Ah, oh, by the way, Kate John. Yeah? What did you eat for lunch? Some question startled me as I went wide eyed when I saw Mion. I never seen her like that. It was highly unsettling visage. Ugh. Uh, why she was asking me what I had for lunch? What she said was so inane it was almost meaningless. The way she said it, it was almost like she didn't even care about at all about what I ate. I ate out. She must have suspected I was with Oshi-san. Anyway, I felt hesitant and tried to change the subject. They had read too deep into it, so I tried answering as quickly as possible. That contrary to the efforts I made, there was a pause before they replied. Hmm, so you went out for lunch, Kichikun? The Marina's eyes had changed at some point as well. And it was now sharp, as if to make me feel frightened, ignorance behind her words even more, as if she already knew that's how it looked to me. Well, was it good? Why are you asking me all this? Mion was speaking in a unusually low tone, almost as if she'd known I'd eaten out at a restaurant in town. No more thinking this. I mean, both of them should have been at school at lunchtime. There was no way they could have known where I was. Seems like you're rather astute lo looking at the guy. Who was he? The package with the mochi. I was holding slipped out of my hands. I could tell the blood had drained from my face, making me go pale. Oh, Kichikun, who was he? Could it be that person from before, I wonder? I wonder? I could feel the back of my throat going dry. It was no longer a bluff. They knew everything. How did you know that? It took everything I had to force those words from my throat. My knees were shaking. Cause there's nothing this old man doesn't know. Yon sneered knowingly. Her laugh seemed to be carry on forever. So okay, Chan, what did you talk about? It was looked like you were getting pretty worked up over it too. We were talking. We weren't talking about you guys. It didn't have anything to do with you, Arena. Hmm? Isn't it a bit strange to hear our names come up, even though nobody asked about that? Hmm? Arena's unwavering gaze pierced my eyes and peered f further inside me. I dug my own grave. My heart was throbbing so much I felt like I was going to explode. Whatever you're trying to hide, this old man already sees through it all. Remember that. I couldn't even shake my head. I took everything I had to stop my teeth from chattering. So she, she, she never let her gaze break mad even though she tilted her head slightly. Kei kun you don't look so good. I think you should lie down. That's true. We should both head back home. As if nothing happened, they both giggled at each other and stared at making their way out. I hadn't moved a muscle since I had dropped the package of mochi. And as they let the door slowly close behind them, all I could do was stare, as if I couldn't move until the door was completely closed. Just as the door just about closed, it opened again slightly with a sun creak, sending my heart racing again. A single eye peered through the narrow slit. Mion's hawkish gaze pierced at me once again. See you, Kei-chan. Yeah. I hate if you miss school tomorrow, alright? The door is closed. All was unable to move a muscle, even after their low laughter died off into the distance and silence once more again enveloped the room. Coming to my senses, first thing I did was lock the door. I knew what she saw and I talked about why, how. Not that it was important to think about it, all I could have been overheard in the beginning when she saw and met me. Just as Mion said, I couldn't hide anything. So what were they trying to tell me? That part was obvious. They were warning me not to say anything unnecessary. Why did they deem unnecessary? The only, I only talked with Oshis oh, about one thing, and that they were warning me that that was unnecessary. Oshis oh, talked to me about the instance of why Oshis' oh, come as cursed occurred every year where in individual cases. 
but were connected as a whole, as the fact that they were manipulated by predators, per perpetrators hidden within Hinamizawa, no more say that Mion, Rena, Satoka, and Rika Chan were all suspicious. They're, what, is that what they were warning me against? What kind of nonsense am I thinking about? Hit my own face hard enough to let out a slap. Only it could wake me from this nightmare. For some reason, it felt like I was punching a blanket. It was almost laughably painless. Calm down, Kichi Mayabara. When did I become such a pessimist? Calm down, calm down. Settle down and sort things out. The reason Mion and I was eating lunch was Oishisama, probably because someone from Hinamizawa just happened to be there at the time. They must have told Mion I was there. It made the most sense. Plus, come to think of it, she did ask me where I ate lunch, didn't she? She only asked, was it good? They were just curious as I got together with someone not from Hinamizawa. It's not as if I had any ulterior motives, that's it. That had to be it. Thinking about it the same way like Reina? It was just being strangely ambiguous when I met Oishi-san. Reina was just correcting me on that. That's when I am bewildered by the change in character of the usually mild-mannered Reina, and I was just startled by it. That's the most natural way of thinking about it. It felt as if my mind was mixed up like a ta tasteless mess of spaghetti. Deep wind marinara sauce would have been poured out of my nose and ears if she squeezed my head. Thinking about it, I suddenly felt like vomiting. I really didn't want that to happen, so I stopped holding my head. Lately, I had no idea what anyone was saying. Spending time with them was fun. It didn't feel like there was any sort of hidden agenda. I do really think they're a good bunch of people. When I moved here, I couldn't make heads or tails of everything. They were really kind to me. Raina was always kind and always looked after me as long as the strange affliction didn't rear its ugly head. She was pretty cute. Mion is also a really good person. She didn't care about anyone's age or gender and was optimistic and outgoing. I was never bored when I was with her. And talking about not getting bored or bumptiousness, Satoko was a good person for that too. She was pretty bratty, but that was just the way she interacted with others. Rikachan was the same way. She didn't speak often, but that didn't mean she was always silent. They're my friends. But after hearing was better untold scene than Hei Mizaru from Moshisan and Tomodake-san, and also at Orishiyo-sama's curse, things started going crazy. Then hearing Orishiyo-san the meal, Reina, Satoko, Rikachan were all suspicious. Bitches. After that, everyone changed. That's right. It all started to get weird after Oshi said, told me all that strange stuff. At the time, I really should have should have not listened to those weird stories. I even shouldn't have heard the past incident from tomitaki on the night of Wakanashi. If I'd just gotten that strange sense of curiosity. If I just hadn't, that's right. That's why I'm fucked, tomitaki san the, that impudent owl spider seeking to the likes of me after everyone went out of their way to keep it a secret from me. They probably sh hate fuck Oishi-san as well. Probably fuck Oishi-san as well. For we trying to unearth what everyone was warning me was better left buried. Besides, he was unforgiving for spewing words that made me doubt the others. Of course, a guy like that is gonna get fucked. But both Tomitaki-san and Oishi-san were neither <coughs> were no <coughs> oh, sorry I got sneezed but uh, but outsiders after all they were ent entities who couldn't coexist with the people of Hinamizawa those guys should just fall into oishi curse and just fuck it wasn't their fault it was my fault for not being held back from my curiosity. It wasn't their fault. 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 Settled so into the days of lethargic feeling. I'd gotten up from the anonymous jail that haunted me. Yes, subsided. I was fine now. No long I was no longer frightened. I had completely recovered. I'll go to school tomorrow, right as rain. I'll greet everyone. I'll take part in club activities. It'll definitely be fun. It had to be fun. I was one of them after all. That reminds me, I need to eat those. I hope I'm able to tell which one Raina made. 
I remember my homework. Two of them brought when they visit me. Wow, her club delivery. That was something else. Picked up the package I dropped on the floor, headed to my, the living room. Be nice, I guess, to have some tea. Fill in my mouth with mochi while drinking tea. Oh, this is quite a delectable situation I was in. Opening up the newspaper wrapping, I saw a plum rebun red bean paste mochi fit snugly inside. There were letters written on the on them on the right. Letters A, B, C, D, and E. Now then, they said the one. You know which one? I wonder which one it was. There wasn't much of a difference in how they looked. They smelled and appeared about the same. This is a pretty difficult problem. The biggest difference was there. I wasn't sure what kind of meal and grandma there was, but Rainus had a different had to be different from hers. I looked carefully. I could see one mochi that was made very neatly. So well that just by staring at it, one could t could tell it stood out. Looks like the challenge depends on which one. It, not this one is Rainus. Calm down and think even harder. Rainus said her grandmother had a ton and give some out. I remember correctly. That meant four of these were from a large batch. Then what about Rena? She probably only made one, but she probably spent a bit of time on it. Meaning the one Rena had made was this one, E. For the moment, it was me and I'd laid about it to pick up on that. That probably wasn't the case. I'd be sure if I knew Mion had it, but since she and Rena had made it, it was probably a trap. Alright, my tea is ready too. I'll start with the defending champion, Mion's grandmother. Let's see. Hmm, not bad. The bean paste was soft, cherry texture left a little left little to be desired. The tea I drank afterwards was accentuated the experience. This was an exquisite piece of work. Now how about Reina's? The creation was so delicate it was as if it could be a high class Japanese dessert. Since I normally had quite the appetite, I was slightly worried about the size of the portion. But well, first a bite. Quite a difficult to judge acting. The ingredients were exactly the same, so there was little difference in the flavor. It was different how it was shaped at the end, so it was to be expected. The adding factor would be presentation and volume. Well for and well sized champion versus Reina the challenger. Besides you just couldn't get enough of. Only I had only had one bite of Reina's. Probably have to wait until I was done eating to make that decision. Maybe there's something hidden inside that could cause an upset. Choo choo. Hmm? Yeah, my prediction was right. My tongue touched something. I feel like it was edible, so I reached in with my fingers and grabbed it. What? What is this? What was this? Before I could fully comprehend what it was, I threw away the rest of the mochi I was eating at as fast as I could. It slammed against the wall, causing bean jam to splatter. And after sticking for a moment, it slid down to the floor. I was dumbstruck by my own actions. What was I doing? Ren had gone out of his way to make this for me. How could I? Dumbstruck, I looked at the hand and performed such a violet. Then I remember what I had taken out of my mouth. At first, I thought it was a hair. Even though it was shorter than Mion's Rainette's hair, it was still quite long, and it w w it wasn't this short. It was almost too hard to be hair. It was thick enough to roll around on my tongue. There's a bit of metallic sheen at the end. Oh yeah, there's a hole where a thread goes. Like it was a sewing needle. Yeah, that's right. It looks more much like a sewing needle. It's exactly like one. The end was pointed as well. Quite sharply. It really did just look like a sewing needle, huh? What did it mean like it looked very much like a sewing needle just a bit ago? I couldn't answer. The voice inside of me already knew, let me knew by the chattering my morals together. I couldn't stay about the terror welling inside me. Suddenly I tasted a bit of metallic and I felt the prickling pain out the back of my throat. I stuck my finger to the back of my throat and felt to see if I was bleeding. Suddenly I felt the urge to vomit. 
sharp taste of bile irritated the back of my throat. I clasped both hands over my mouth, I writhed in agony. I somehow able to hold back the nausea. I was finally able to breathe again. My heart, time, my heart throb, intensely throbbed. Then it finally registered exactly what was missed in with the emoji. Before I could even correct word, my mind were already on the move. Splat, flop, splurt. I tossed the rest of the mochi against the wall. Geometric patterns had splattered against the wall, invoking a terrible omen in my mind. After looking at a dash in the hallway and flew upstairs to my room where I stayed on the covers until morning. I clutched my own shoulders, howling manly. Fear and anger, sadness, frustration, fear and threat warning me, a reminder as simple as that. What happened in Hinamizawa? What was ha happening in Hinamizawa? What could ha what happened? I didn't know the answer to any of those questions. Where did I break a taboo? Regardless, now rain on me on and the others. They considered me an enemy? And they thought I should just die? I won't let you kill me, not for such a pointless reason. I fell restless sleep I was crushed in negative emotions. It w was as if being drawn into a billowing, bottomless merch. Well, what's the medicine that makes you commit suicide? Hard to swallow. Okay, we're gonna uh, save it here and start another episode. So, save yet. Alright, I'll see you guys in another episode. This being a Shira Reaper. I hope you're enjoying Reaper Summer. I know what I am. Try to do something different this summer. Try something you never thought you'd do. I love you all very, 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 very much. And bye! Hey everyone, this is Yashira Reaper. And this has been the end of another video. If you'd like to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications. Also, if you'd like to donate to my Patreon. That would help me a lot. Also... If you'd like to buy merch, I have a Teespring and Redbubble account right below. Also, this is the summer, Reaper's Summer. So I'll have a new video out every day. I hope you all enjoy it. Hashtag Reaper's Summer, and I love you. Bye!